you know, we know that one out of four people will have low back pain in their lifetime. A lot of the back pains people have are just muscle sprains, a lot of overwork, a lot of extra weight. And I think the, the big, there's so many causes, but what we're looking for is by the time you see a neurosurgeon, you've had some physical therapy, you've had conservative therapy. Think about you, if you have one pound in your front belly, it's four pounds on your back. So after you've gone through all this treatment, then you've gone through that you don't have any tumors or stuff, then we look at other causes of pain. We look at is it bad disc, is it bad facets, is it bad joints? And that decides how we treat it. Remember, only one out of eight to 10 people that we see ever need surgery. So that's why we will have physical therapists, chiropractor, see the patients. And then we deal with their back pain and say, what can we do? And one of the new things that we have really started to do in the last two years, a lot of people would, there's a joint in the back call and that has a nerve that serves no purpose. So a lot of the pain doctors would actually do the injections and then burn the nerve and they have to come back every nine to 12 months to re-burn the nerve. But in our case, what we can actually do is after we do the testing and prove it can work, we can actually come with a scope and burn and cut the nerve and it never regenerates. And you never have to go through that again. So that's something that we can do and you have anesthesia and you go to sleep and you're discharged in two hours. So I think that's one of the treatments. We also have to, people have disc herniations that can cause leg pain. And that's the one we can, then we may need to do after injections, which we do ourselves, we may have to do the surgery. So there's a whole things of our material that we do do for low back pain or people with neck pain and arm pain.